Alien John is without a doubt my favorite tech spinner of all time, and today I'm going to pay tribute to him. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of Poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain, and today I'm counting down my top five favorite tricks from one of the Tech Poi world's great masters. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a special thanks to the first non-business friend of the channel, Johnny Howard. Thanks so much for your support, Johnny. Alien John Everett is without a doubt one of the most influential flow artists in my own flow journey. It was his work in the Arizona Transmission video that gave me not only a roadmap to what was possible with Poi, but also made Tech Poi seem accessible enough to try. His methods for thinking about and breaking down Poi tricks became the foundation for how I began to understand the art myself, and informed how I've done everything from teach my workshops to how I broke down my Poi 1.5s earlier in the year. More than being an amazing inspiration and an awesome friend, Alien John has also been one of the great innovators of the Poi world. So, let's take a trip through some of my favorite contributions from this master of the art. Number 5. The Aneurysm but what now? Yeah, so some explanation is in order here. This is one of those very strange hybrids that Alien John got to by tweaking something very different. In this case, it started with a simple crosser that got extended out to a pair of one-petal inspin flowers when timed properly with the placement of each hand. But wait, if you can do this in split time same direction, can't you do the same thing in opposites? And now you're thinking like an alien. Indeed, extending an opposites crosser out in this way leads to a one-pedal inspin versus three-pedal anti-spin hybrid that is also a body tracer. In the grand tradition of moves like the Meltdown, this brain buster was dubbed the aneurysm. If memory serves, this also became the inspiration behind Kate's body tracing weave. So you know you're working with a great pedigree when both Alien John and Kate McCoy have had their hands in a trick. Number 4. Body Tracing Zan's Diamond so I'm pretty sure that this is the only trick on this list, and indeed the only trick of Alien John's in general that I was actually present for the invention of. The backstory here is that Alien John came to visit DC and hang out with me about 10 years ago, and taught some workshops while he was here on body tracing and stall chasers. Along for the ride was Charlie Cushing, and at one point during the weekend, we came up with a challenge that had all three of us baffled. We already knew that you could take snakes and split time opposites as a horizontal line across your body, and that you could take snakes in a vertical line up or down your body. But could you connect them together into Zan's Diamond? The answer seemed to be no at first, because the standard algorithm for Zan's Diamond would have required us to pass our hands through our body at one point. Stupid anatomy. But then, John came up with a solution. To understand it, we have to talk a little bit about the different algorithms for how we do this pattern. When we keep timing and direction consistent through Zan's Diamond, the pattern we're tracing out may look a lot like this, but the pattern that we're implying looks more like this. See how every line has a parallel line somewhere else in the pattern? What John realized is that you could swap things around on the top and bottom to crisscross those two points to get this pattern. You still have something that collapses down to look like our first pattern here, but now flips around enough pieces that you can complete the full algorithm. Not only was it really cool to see how John's mind worked in this fashion, it also gave rise to a trick that Charlie and I wound up using countless times afterwards a neat solution to an interesting math problem. And speaking of the strange ways in which John's mind works... Number 3. Anti-Spin Body Tracing Weave What now? Yeah, so this harkens back to the days in which new tricks were a product of playing with pre-existing variables. And thus, if you were going to name something at all, you'd wind up with something that had a compound name rivaling anything you'd find in German. Alien John has a whole system for thinking about planes work and making active choices on which planes you use and how you use them as you're performing a trick. Honestly, this is one of the less challenging versions that he came up with. At one point, somebody figured out that weaves could be thought of as collapsed flowers that just passed from side to side of the body, which of course opens up the question of performing them as anti-spin as well as in-spin flowers. Then body tracers became the rage and, well, we were off to the races. It's very, very difficult to keep the planes clean on this one, not only because working in anti-spin guarantees the tightest possible space to maneuver the poi in, as well as the fact that you have to do the gauntlet of this one around your head and shoulders. 
It's very, very difficult to keep the planes clean on this one, not only because working in anti-spin guarantees the tightest possible space to maneuver the poi in, as well as the fact that you have to do the gauntlet of this one around your head and shoulders. Alien John did an entire one of his old nanotech blogs on several variations of this idea, if you want to check them out for yourself, and see just how far his mind went on this one topic. I'll link to it down in the description, as well as up in the cards. And in case that one wasn't weird enough for you... Number 2. The Squish Straight up, I have no idea what, if any, name this trick actually has, but it's one of the coolest and most bizarre uses I've seen for three-dimensional plane bending. Simply put, this involves having each poi performing a two-beat weave between wheel and buzzsaw plane, but adds in the very strange element of placing the cross point for that weave either above or below the hand. The result? A bizarre trick that passes the poi in and out of diagonal planes. Some of my favorite work Alien John has done over the years has involved thinking of plane bending and inverting poi work in new and exotic ways. And I'll totally admit that this trick is also a placeholder for a lot of other ideas that he's put out there. Alien John first made a name for himself by being one of the few people who understood Rev's manifesto regarding poi inversions, to say nothing of the wild ways in which he rethought crosspoint positioning and how that impacts the placement of the poi plane with respect to the performer's body. This was also one of the last tricks I finally got down in the Arizona transmission video. Yes, I learned all of them, and yes, it took several years, but this one took more time than most simply because it looked like nothing else I've ever encountered before or since. So because it melds so many elements of Alien John's work together, and it's such a unique trick, I thought it deserved a place here. Also a bookmark for you. You know what we never play around with anymore? This kind of plane bending. It makes me a little sad that I can't think of many tricks that look like this one. Let's go out there and create some neighbors for this awesome little oddity, yeah? Now before I share with you my final selection for my favorite Alien John picks, a quick request. If you've gotten this far, it probably means that you're interested in poi, poi spinning tricks, and maybe flow arts in general. If that's the case, please subscribe to see more videos like this one. And please, leave me a comment and let me know if there are any other artists whose work you'd like to see me feature in this fashion. Would you like to see a top 5 on Nick Woolsey, Ronan, or Tim Goddard? Drop me a request and let me know. Now without further ado, my number one pick for my favorite Alien John Poi trick. Number one, Cat Eye vs. Isolation. Yeah, let's be real, this one isn't a huge stretch, am I right? By far the most commonly copied and influential poi trick that Alien John has made up has to be this one, right? Not only did it spawn a legion of imitators, myself included, but it also crystallized a framework for thinking about tricks that we still use to this day. So let's lay down some context. Now, Alien John wasn't the first to play around with elliptical poi tricks or hybrids. Arashi had a variety of different ellipsoidal tricks that he collectively referred to as cat eyes, regardless of the hand path at the core of them. And of course, Andy House had invented the first hybrid years before Alien John worked out this particular use for the term. But what made this particular hybrid come together was a hiccup of mathematics. Andy House's first hybrid, an isolation versus extension, made use of a rather interesting property that both of these individual poi tricks shared. Namely, they were each single beat tricks that completed that single beat by producing vastly different patterns. Alien John took this information and plugged it into a computer simulation he was working on, and suddenly realized that things could look vastly different if the poi were spinning in the opposite direction as the hand. The result? A trick that not only looked radically different from everything he'd seen before, but one he wasn't even actually sure that he could do. Like the extension, it was a single beat, so in theory you could combine that with an isolation. Right? As it turns out, yes you can. This not only gave birth to one of TechPoi's most distinctive hybrids, but it also led to a framework for classifying hybrids. Alien John took Andy House's hybrids, plus this new gem, and worked up a hybrid framework that incorporated both. He first shared this new unit circle theory on the old tech poi group on tribe.net, and it became a gateway to many young tech spinners, like myself, working to think of poi not as individual tricks sitting like separate objects in a warehouse, but as interrelated and neighboring cells of a massive spreadsheet that you could transition back and forth between. It became the bedrock for a theory of poi movement, a touchstone for a generation of poi spinners, and it looks cool as hell. And that's why it's my pick for my favorite Alien John trick ever. And real quick, I just want to put out a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind support of these wonderful people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. 
Do you like my Poi content? Do you like tutorials, flow sessions, and vlogs on flow arts culture? Consider signing up to support my work. I want to bring flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies through prop spinning. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. Not only will you be supporting this mission, but you'll also be able to get early access to all of my content, a vote in what content I produce in the future, and a host of other awesome rewards, such as getting a special weekly poi lesson delivered to your inbox every week that is available only to my supporters. Go give that a look and please consider supporting this channel. Thank you in advance. What are your favorite Alien John tricks? Did I leave any out? Did I miss a really obvious one that I'll be mad at myself for overlooking? Wouldn't be the first time. If you like this video, please consider checking out some of my other top five poi tricks lists at the playlist link down in the description or up here on screen if you happen to be watching on YouTube. Make sure to get out and flow today and I'll see you with a new video on Friday. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Peace.